there was a clip released where Christopher Nolan talks about Inception being on IMAX theaters. He said that it's a great place to watch Inception. Obviously, you can watch it in normal cinemas, but watching it on IMAX, he says, gives you an even greater immersive experience. He said it also helps because a lot of Inception was shot in 65 millimeter film. So watching it in IMAX, you're going to experience this massive visual and audio feast. So Inception's also a film that I've been following. It looks great. It's got Leonardo DiCaprio, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Ellen Page, Tom Hardy, Ken Watanabe, Dilip Rao, Cillian Murphy, Tom Berenger, and Marianne Cotillard. A little bit extra about it, Dom Cobb is a skilled thief, the absolute best in the dangerous art of extraction, stealing valuable secrets from deep within the subconscious during the dream state when the mind is at its most vulnerable. Cobb's rare ability has made him a coveted player in this treacherous new world of corporate espionage, but it has also made him an international fugitive and cost him everything he has ever loved. Now Cobb is being offered a chance at redemption, one last job that could give him his life back, but only if he accomplishes the impossible inception. Instead of the perfect heist, Cobb and his team of specialists have to pull off the reverse, their task is not to steal an idea, but to plant one. If they succeed, it could be the perfect crime. But no amount of careful planning or expertise can prepare the team for the dangerous enemy that seems to predict their every move. An enemy that only Cobb could have seen coming. Remember Christopher Nolan who directed Dark Knight in 2008, which has become the sixth highest grossing film worldwide of all time and the third highest grossing film of all time in the US behind Titanic and Avatar. And Christopher Nolan is working on 2012's release of the Untitled Batman Project. So it'll be his third Batman film. So I can't wait for Inception in IMAX, in normal theaters. It's going to be an amazing film and it's one that we at Movie Love and News are pushing.